One example I think has worked very well is with the political segment of the UN Secretariat. They have uh, started to have a much more active dialogue with the uh, resident coordinators now and uh, a number of interesting things are coming out of it. The new dimensions, uh, opportunities to use development and humanitarian activities to further UN reform hand in hand with the political work that takes place from the Secretariat. The other dimension I wanted to mention is that uh, donors is an important dimension. The, uh, the way that donors prioritize their funding, the way that they finance either one agency or many agencies or the overall UN system, if they fi finance, give a priority to joint programming, if they don't, it makes a huge difference. And I've seen that there are a few key donors that have made this a corporate priority to make UN reform work. And I think it's important that we work very actively with these donors and use that as an example for how the whole system could work. For us in Pakistan, we have a relatively new government who is taking some very interesting new initiatives, particularly in the social sector. And um, there are new um, cross-ministerial uh, initiatives led by very senior advisors. There are new programs being set up. They, have be, they are able to attract international funding, such as uh, recently $200 million from the Gates Foundation for a social protection program. And uh, we need to work with them. It is the way that would produce a more unified and, and more comprehensive and more effective UN response to the, what the country needs.